Okay, today we are in this beautiful new kitchen that was just remodeled in this big pantry. And we are super excited to attack it. Lots of canned goods, lots of things just in their packaging. Love that there's nothing on the floor already, so we're gonna try and keep that open. We'll just get these few things up off the floor. And if drinks end up on the floor, that's fine, but I love it when things just feel a little more open and I really think we can get there with just some great organization. More packaging out here. There's this really cool like pass-through, um, like mini butler's pantry. And so we're gonna clean this up. This is from their new remodel. Isn't this gorgeous? I'll show you the kitchen. Super cool backsplash, beautiful cabinets, these long door poles. It's so pretty. So we're bringing in all the product. And we're going to start with the pantry and then we're going to start emptying out all the drawers, all the cabinets. There are lots of things that are even left out because they just finished this remodel and so they're still getting everything back into their new space. Super exciting. Okay, we have lots of spices. This is where all the spices were put, which makes sense right by the stove, but we're just going to make them look pretty and accessible. How many of you have a spice cabinet that looks like this? where maybe you remember where something once was, or you know the ones you don't use very often or way in the back. We're gonna make it so everything is easy to see, easy to find, and it's gonna look pretty. Hey, lots of really great drawers. So many drawers in this kitchen, but a lot of them don't have any organization yet, so we're gonna make sure that everything makes sense and is nice and orderly. We're still just clearing out the pantry. I just wanna show you, this family already has like really great systems and organization in terms of like, they're keeping all their crackers and snack items in the same area. It's just hard to see what there is because everything's in boxes and we want to be able to get everything out of boxes so everything can be found. Okay, Courtney is getting started on spices right here. We've organized, um, some of the organizers already started to separate them by category. And I just wanna show you what happens. Look at all these spices. When they're not organized in, with a system, we end up with, let's see, one, two, three, four oreganos. And that's just one example. So um, I know decanting spices sometimes seems a little extreme, but it really makes your cooking more efficient. It saves you money because you're not buying things over and over again. And then it just looks so pretty. So we'll show you what it looks like in the end. Okay, we still have a lot of work to do in the kitchen. I'll show you what it looks like, but Amy is working on labeling the things that we're already feeling good about. Courtney is working on, I don't know if I showed you this, this is like a medicine storage utility area that we're going to get everything out of boxes and you can find that here. And then this is what the kitchen looks like. Guys, this is after hours. We've been working really hard and there's still a lot that needs to find a home, but we're making progress. There's cereal containers coming and it's going to look so good. Sneak peek. Okay, I'm so excited to give you a tour of this amazing, beautiful kitchen. But first, we're gonna walk down the hallway through their amazing butler's pantry that's stocked with drinks. This is gonna be an ice machine someday. All their favorite snacks and go into their pantry. It's, it's so good, you guys. Like, this is the view. I'm sure this door will remain open most of the time. This is the view that this family gets to have throughout the day. This amazing bright light my clients really wanted something that was light and felt clean and just amazing. And I think we did it. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the things we did so that you can apply the same principles in your own homes, in your own pantries. And I'm so excited. Over here by the stove, isn't this backsplash cool? I think it is so, so cool and this wood is so pretty. We have oils and vinegars easy for cooking, and then some drink items. So where we put the Metamucil, and then also we use this acrylic Lazy Susan from Target, which is really nice because it has compartments and so we're able to put all the drink powders. So it's super easy for anyone of any height to be able to spin it around, find the drink that they want and just pull it out. So love how that turned out and then a tea organizer up on top. Okay, and then the spin, we just use acrylic dividers to separate out cooking tools and serving tools. There's still room to grow. This kitchen has so much space. And this couple doesn't have a crazy amount of stuff. So there's still things that they're gonna be adding to. I'm sure this is the baking drawer so the liquid measuring cups can stand upright so it's deep. And then we use this 
really tall, deep bamboo drawer divider to get those rolling pins to stack nicely on top of each other and and not roll around. So that works really nice. Okay, under the sink here, we just added some multi-purpose bins for some division. They already have this dish drying rack underneath the sink, which works great with that big garbage disposal. So we just kept that there and added a few bins. Over here for Tupperware, we just created a division between bottoms and lids. And we used this bamboo organizer to sort all the lids together so that they can each have a spot and stand up and be easy to find since there are so many different sizes over here. Okay, I'm gonna show you just a few things we did in here that I feel like are standout and things that anyone can do. We decanted just the quart and the sandwich size bins, bags, Ziploc baggies, and then clips into these same containers. Label them right here. It's just really nice when the sizes of these boxes change all the time. And sometimes you can't have them facing the right way because they're too tall for these shallow drawers. So it just works out really nice. And that's something I love to do in most kitchens. Okay, last cupboard I wanna show. It's one of my favorites. You guys, look at these spices. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So anything that didn't fit in these four ounce jars is just up here. So if they ever run out of a spice, they get to pull down their bin first, take a look. If they can't find what they need, then obviously it needs to go on the grocery list and they shop for it. But if it is there, then all they need to do is refill. They just shop from their house and it looks beautiful and everything is alphabetized and easy to find. And then these spices are pensies, which are kind of specialty spices. So we kept them all together instead of putting them in alphabetical order. So all the pensy spicy spices are labeled and on the front so that those can be found just a little bit easier. And then these back two rows are all the spices that are typically found and in alphabetical order. So they're just easy to to find exactly what you need. So this cute couple has a lot of nieces and nephews and they are very well stocked on amazing snacks. So lots of these snacks so they don't eat regularly because it's just when cute kids come to visit. So chips, crackers, lots of things are on the floor. Um, one of them is gluten-free so we set aside lots of the gluten-free items. Gluten-free crackers are here. We have gluten-free mixes over there and gluten-free breakfast items over here. We kept his zones as best we could, but because of height and um, some different limitations with containers, we there are some things in different places, but it still, I feel like, is really cohesive and makes sense. So this is primarily our breakfast zone. We have protein um, powders down there and spreads, cereals, grains, pancake mixes, and then the gluten-free and normal breakfast options. And then up here we have, this is primarily baking. So we have specialty flours and then your normal baking items, baking ingredients like marshmallows and chips, gluten-free, and then just baking mixes. So lots of our baking stuff is over on this side. Then we have more of the dinner zone. So grains, decanted, just dinner fixings. These are surplus condiments, but down here are oils and vinegars that they don't have by their stove. And then we have cans. Cans also worked really well over here for the items that they had a lot of. They don't have a traditional food storage pantry, so this is all their food. So even their back stock, when they go to Costco and they stock up on certain things, this is where it all goes. So we wanted to use these shorter shelves so we could stack two on top of each other and go all the way back with the same item so that things don't get lost, but we're also maximizing the space. And we use these cute little wood snack bins for bars they like to snack on and then anything that's surplus just goes an acrylic bin behind. We decanted the snacks and nuts that they eat the most. They have lots of nuts and healthy snacks too, so seeds. And everything is just easy to see, easy to grab for a healthy snack. And then more treat items, cookie items, candy. And then up here in our covered storage with these Nordic bins and the bamboo lids, look at close so you can see they had lots of paper goods. So that's what is on top here. Spoons, forks, and knives. And then we have all of the plastic cups, plates, napkins, 
And then they had a lot of seasonal paper goods, so that's where all of those went. And so we kept them up high. They're not gotten to a ton, but they look nice and they're covered, so we're keeping the clutter. The clutter at bay and those opaque bins help make it look really clean. Okay, I want to hear your questions because this couple was so fun to work with. I think they had a great vision. They let us have a lot of creative license with how we put it together and it was really fun to create this amazing pantry for them. So tell me what your questions are about how we got to this point. It really takes a team. It takes a lot of hours and time and brainstorming and refiguring things out, but then things usually finally come together and they turn out amazing. So super happy with all of it.